experiment utilized two different water samples, one of which is clean or so-called treated water, while the other one is the dirty or the so-called untreated water. The treated one is called this way because it's water from a source either by dam or spring or pump reservoir and then undergone water treatment process in order to be called safe for household use and or for consumption. The treatment done by the experiment changed the appearance of the untreated greatly and somehow lessened the false smell of canal water. The cloudy and dark colored untreated water turned into new transparent after undergoing the improvised water filtration system, almost similar alike to the treated water. The smell is not perfectly the same even though after the canal water undergone the whole process. By referring to the environmental structure and waste management of the community IME and the current state of the canal water in our streets, the filtration system constructed is effective in changing the physical characteristics of the canal water, but is considerably not enough to be called clean water. If the DAO 201608 is the reference, the dirty water source does not meet the standards. Even if so, the lowest class, class D, navigable waters is the classification. It will be difficult to navigate on a canal or swamp like water. The usage of materials is a simple demonstration of how to treat wastewater into something useful even though there are no expensive equipment to be used. Although the materials are accessible in the household, there are a lot of improvements with the setup by considering other materials to improve the filtration process, such as the use of charcoal. The arrangement of the process is somehow ideal. Aeration is one process that can be undergone in wastewater treatment by adding air into the untreated water in order to allow the aerobic biodegradation of the contaminants present, which is safer in some levels with comparison to chemical treatment, which needs chemical involvement in order to react and stabilize the water pollutants. The aeration process is important to provide oxygen to bacteria for the treatment process. Coagulation, on the other hand, is one of the most applied processes in the world in improving the overall treatment efficiency and cost effectiveness of the water treatment. It is important because it is drastically removes the impurities in the untreated water, turning the aggregates into larger particles to settle down easily. Sedimentation is an effective process of wastewater treatment prior to filtration. This process allows the particles suspended in water to settle out of suspension with the help of gravity. Sedimentation may come before and after coagulation and depends on the state of wastewater and what goal is being trying to be achieved more effectively. Filtration, on the other hand, is one of the most basic ideas in wastewater treatment which applies filters or strainers that will efficiently separate the sediments or sludge particles from the untreated water. The period of time in a water purification process is also significant because perfect timing will help the treatment processes to work effectively, especially in coagulation and sedimentation. The alum in the experiment should be truly dissolved and mixed so that the particles will turn into larger aggregates quicker. Also in sedimentation, since gravity is the biggest factor to consider, it will take some time for the sludge to settle down. <music>